Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time that I post. And if this resonates, give me a good old thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know the tizzy, okay? Let me know the confirmations, I'm here for it. And thank you to anyone who has donated anything, decks and all that, I really appreciate that. Anyone who has booked a reading, and if you plan on booking a reading, my information is in the description box. You can either email me or message me on Instagram. And um, check out my TikTok, I'm posting on there again. And I go live over there too. And yeah guys, I love you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about people's first impressions based off of your appearance, okay? I already know this is going to be some funny ass shit, okay? <laughs> Take this with a grain of salt and um, you know, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your love and support. It really does help in any way, okay? Even if you think it's small, no, it really does help. So we have five piles today with pile number one, which is the psychic tarot, pile number two, which is the star tarot, pile number three, which is the moon and stars tarot, pile number four, which is the pastel journey tarot, and pile number five, which is the under the sea tarot. All right, you can pick more than one pile as always, and I will see you guys on the pile that you picked. Bye. What's going on, pile number one? It's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time that I post. All right, we already got that you are low-key, high-key hermit right now. You walked away from a lot of stuff. But we're going to get your current energy and then we will dive into... <laughs> what people's first impressions are about you when they first see you based off your appearance okay this is first look like right off the bat before they even hear you speak what they thinking and then obviously as you know they get to know you and hear you speak and stuff too but still it's gonna be all that that's way too much i'll take that bottom one one more current energy pile one thank you we gotta sing some of y'all could have been singing a lot you could be singers you could be tapping into mantras breath deep breathing so you could be doing breath work you could make a vision board seems as though you are relisting your goals in your mind and you could actually have made a, a vision board but it's like you're taking stock of what your goals are and you know you're making new goals okay health goals monetary goals you know spiritual goals any kind of goal really and we have make an altar yeah you're definitely okay <laughs> level up you guys are leveling up because i'm hearing that song by sierra level up level up level up level up okay some of y'all may have dyed your hair as well but i feel like you know the planets are heavily affecting you right now they're heavily affecting you whenever you're watching this it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying but there's certain planets in retrograde and certain um maybe the moon okay we just had a new moon in cancer that just went you know what I'm saying? But like I feel like this, whatever planetary shifts that are going on whenever you're watching this, they're shifting you in a way that is causing like you to reassess and reevaluate everything right now. You're letting go of a lot and it seems as though you are focusing on, you know, closing out a lot of cycles, rebalancing yourself and, you know, trying to make a decision. You've been really confused for a while you know and you're trying to listen to your heart and your intuition more you know you've been taking a lot of advice maybe in the past from um outside sources outside people you've been listening to a lot of people but now it's like you're you're taking your stock and you're like okay what do i really want to do what do i really like you know and you're maybe having more time to like maybe go to karaoke maybe you're just singing in the shower more you're just singing more humming more just more happy more vocal speaking your truth more yeah, there's big emphasis on that. And uh, Did I already say that some of y'all may have dyed your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Or you got a new hairstyle or a new haircut. Okay, so if that resonates at all, then this is for you guys. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, energy work. Some of y'all have been getting Reiki done or doing um, Reiki to yourself, energy work, energy clearing, meditations, listening to frequencies, just really focusing on recalibrating your energy. But let's see. <laughs> what are people's first impressions? of my pile number ones based off of all right we'll take it oh don't okay based off of their physical appearance we got angel unakite angelette 
In July. Alright, that's way too much. Healer showed itself. Can I just get one? Alright. So live in the present, heart chakra, we got crown and throat chakra, we got physical body, bottom of the deck, root chakra. Well, guys, this is my body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy group, huh? Yeah? You got a body? Mm-hmm. I don't care what your face looks like, all right? I'm talking about your body. You think you're ugly in the face? That's, that's you. Even though you're probably beautiful, maybe somebody made you feel like you were ugly. And I'm sorry if that happened. All right, we got protection, root chakra too. Y'all are grounded as fudge, bro. All right, so right off the bat, people think by looking at you, one, you have a sissy body, you got a nice body, or there's something about your body that's very, very noticeable, okay? People think you got, you drew the lucky straw when it comes to your body, and it doesn't matter what your body looks like. There's something that somebody is like, I heard jealous of, but like somebody admires or really wants from your body, okay? Some you have a body part, <laughs> everyone got a body part, but like there's some part of your body, okay? It could be anything, it could go from your hands, your hair, your eyes, your booty, your legs, okay? Your chest, it doesn't matter. Maybe you got a flat stomach, maybe it's just your shape in general, okay? Maybe you take care of your physical body, but people notice that you're fit, or maybe your body is just like it looks good, okay? Whatever it is, there's something about your body <laughs> right off the bat. With this protection and obsidian, people feel like legit. You just like one year protected, but when they look at you, like, like yo, don't mess with this person. Right off the bat, first impressions. I don't know if it's your face. Maybe you have a resting bitch face or something like that. Excuse me, uh, <laughs> that sounded so vulgar. <laughs> Um, but people definitely feel like, yo, you're protective of your energy. You might not talk to a lot of people. You might not make eye contact with a lot of people. Or you might come off as standoffish. Um, and that's why people think, like, yo, this person is very protective or really not one to be messed with. People definitely feel as though you're very honest. You might, like, either have a soft voice or a really loud voice. There's something about your voice. People right off the bat, they're like, oh, this person maybe can sing. This person maybe has a nice voice. So this person is intellectual. Maybe there's something about the way you talk too. Based off of your first impression, like they hear like your first sentence and they're like, oh, this person is educated. They already ma automatically know that either you're educated or you're spiritual, okay? Especially with these angels. They know that you're spiritual. Maybe you wear like, I don't know, um, certain like jewelry or like you know there's shirts that you wear or maybe you have like tattoos but there's something that shows that you're spiritual and people know like it's easy to pick up like this they're like this person's connected this person's spiritual something like that you know what I'm saying um, and then we have um, a religious you know what I'm saying it's you know you know what I mean but mostly spiritual labels or whatever um, with this heart chakra, people definitely get this vibe, though, that regardless of, like, how standoffish you look at, they know that you have a heart of gold. Maybe it's your eyes. You could have doe eyes or just, like, you know, maybe you switch from siren eyes to doe eyes effortlessly, okay? It's giving, like, um, angel and then, like, devil kind of vibes. Like, you know, you're enticing to people, <clears throat> Okay, and people think that you're really balanced and you're you're present because you're very aware like when people first impression They see you they see that you're looking around. They see that you're observant. They see that you are a good listener They see that you're very aware and that like you're not on your phone and like, you know Not paying attention you actually take the time to listen to people So people think that you have like a big heart and you're very caring even if like you don't really understand or get like what people are saying They, they see like first impression. They're like oh, this person's actually listening to me. You know what I'm saying? Or they're actually, like, acknowledging me, you know? They're not, like... Like, yeah, you might not, like, make eye contact with people. But when people start to engage with you, it's like they see, like, oh, oh, okay, this person actually kind of chill. All right, I, you know? <laughs> I thought they was going to be a bee. So a lot of people think that you might be a bee. A bitch. <laughs> when they first meet you, okay? They think that you're gonna be like this like snobby kind of energy but then you're the complete opposite and they're like huh kind of shook first impressions what do people think based off of people's <laughs> rebel yeah you you dress very different you dress very unique i don't know what it is because it's gonna be different for all of you but you definitely dress very different you have your own type of style and people really really like it and they think that you're a rebel you're very unique you live life on your own terms okay mm-hmm First impressions off of your looks. 
that you guys get a lot of, you got, I got hoes, I got hoes, in different area, 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 I got hoes, okay, that's interesting, yeah, there's something about your fashion, people love your fashion, they think it's very, very unique, they also think that you could be into, like, going to the woods, like, right off the bat, they're like, yo, this person likes nature, this person likes animals, this person probably has plants, this per person is probably into magic, could be a witch or a wizard with this, um, alchemist, okay, I also think that you, like, take good care of yourself, okay? Based off of, you know, we were talking about physical body, but to also, like, maybe you have, like, a flask where you're drinking water all the time, hydro flask. Um, you know, like, your skin looks clear or you just look healthy and people think, like, oh, this person is well-rested, this person takes care of themselves, this person works out, you know? I'm getting high maintenance, too. You, like, even if, like... <laughs> it's not to say like you like buy expensive things and stuff like that, but like maybe you you take care of your hair, your nails, you always look good, smell good, your skin is clear, etc., etc. Even if your skin isn't clear, that it's just like you have this kind of glow, or you just look healthy. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people think that you're very charming. You know, maybe your eyes, your you speak through your eyes, and um, you could flirt. You could be very flirtatious. So people like first impressions, they're like, this person's a flirt. <laughs> I'm a I'm a flirt. Mm, mm, I'm a flirt. I don't know the words. <laughs> um, but yeah, people think that you're very childlike as well. Not to say that you're childish, but like, you know, you're tapped into your inner child. You might have like certain things that like, you know, maybe you wear um, a shirt that has like, you know, because I'm seeing my Lion King shirt, you know, so it could be anything like connected to your childhood and stuff like that. Maybe you, um, carry things of nostalgia with you or you know there's something about your eyes for real some of y'all do pigtails too it's very interesting but yeah people think that you know you could be really young also too maybe you have like a baby face for some of you or you just look young people think that you you look younger than your age or you're mature for your age they don't really know your age they're unable to guess your age let's just say that people are unable to guess your age uh because based off of first impressions they really don't know your age ambiguous i guess you can say i don't know how to explain it but like they don't know your, your range like your age range people think that you're either younger than you are or older than you are and you probably get that all the time you're probably like oh my god i thought you were so much younger or i thought you were so much older you know depending on which spectrum you were at you know it's going to be different for all of you but 11 22 yeah <laughs> they think that you're definitely um wise too I don't know why, maybe you just look like you're wise. It's given like, you know, a spiritual leader. <laughs> they just feel like they could go to you. Maybe this is something subconscious, like they look at you, first impression, they're like, I could ask this person for advice. You just look like you got your shit together. So people just assume like, yeah, this person, this person could, could help me. <laughs> I just saw father and hero. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you look... <laughs> You look like somebody who could provide guidance. And then we have the Empress coming through. So let's get some closing messages. Alright. First impressions. What are people's first impressions based off of Pawan's appearance? Alright. What do we got? Uh, here we go. So. We got the Rejoice in Celebration which is the three of cups we have power which is the strength five oh well five of wands which is challenges and obstacles yeah people feel like to look at you when they look at you they see your power they know that you went through a lot of stuff you just have this energy you just have this look some of you guys have scars on your face on your body we have partners and alliances it just looks like you've been through a lot you know you look like you've been through a lot, but then you look like you've healed a lot. But people can still see, like, yeah, this person experienced a lot, went through a lot, has hella wisdom. Okay? We've got the material harvest. We have intuition. We have hope, which is the star. Intuition is the high priestess, and this is the nine of pentacles, which is material harvest. And it's three of wands, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have shadow, which is the moon. Yeah, that makes sense. One more. One more card. And the Four of Cups. Alright, 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 alright. Let me see. Bottom of the deck is the Hanged Man, which is Sacrifice. Yeah, people 
people feel like you sacrificed a lot. People feel like you're grounded, you're happy. Some of y'all are exotic. They look at you and they feel like you, they look at you and they assume like this person speaks another language. They're like, this person definitely is well-traveled, well-versed, is intelligent as hell, definitely probably speaks another language. <clears throat> or you're f not from around here. You know, maybe you travel a lot and people are like, this person ain't from around here. Even if you are from where you're at, like, people just be like, who the hell is, this person ain't from around here. The fuck? <laughs> you have an accent? There's something about your accent, too. People feel like you would be the life of the party. You're very energized and you're abundant. You're giving and caring and people feel like you have a lot to offer. First impressions is like, this per person's like high maintenance. This person got money. This person, you know is an investment that I would like. This is a person I would like to be friends with, okay? I feel like this person is patient, powerful, kind, strong, intuitive. They can tell you're intuitive, okay? They um, can tell you're a star, your healing energy. They feel healed, okay? That could be subconscious, but like they feel like, you know, you've been through a lot of challenges. You overcome a lot of things. Maybe they hear like, you know, you tell a story real quick and they're like, wow, this person just said this, this, and this. And I'm like, damn, how'd they even survive that shit? Like, what the hell? But yeah, people can see that you're powerful, you're wise, and you've been through a lot. Even, no matter how old you are, they're like, wow, this person experienced a lot in their lifetime. people see that you're a leader and first impression is like you're you're very mysterious like you won't tell everything right away you know but a lot of people like their first impression is I want to connect with this person I want to work with this person I want to work under this person I want to follow this person's lead I feel like this person has a lot of knowledge and wisdom and their their success is showing and I feel like I want to get on their level I want to do what they're doing I want them to teach me and um <laughs> let me know because I'm bored with my life and I'm trying to you know, I'm trying to level up. People feel like if they become friends with you, they'll level up on all levels. But a lot of people also feel like you'll reject them. First impression is this person is not going to give me the time of day. This person is not going to talk to me. This person is going to, you know, kind of just look past me, you know. Mm, that's kind of sad. But yeah, that is that is what it is, baby. Alright, 1616. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. If you feel called to, pick another pile. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's going on? Pile number two. A little bit more smoke. We're clearing out pile number one's energy. Welcome. If you're new here, hit the subscribe down below. And the bell so you can notify every time that I post. Okay, if this resonates, give me a good old thumbs up. We are talking about what are people's first impressions based off your appearance. But first, we are going to get your current energy, and then we'll dive in. So you can see if this is your pile. Okay? Pile, yeah, okay. <laughs> pile two. We got write a gratitude list on the bottom of the deck. We have family. We have soak in a bath. We have clear your energy field and connect to your womb. All right. First things first, you've been feeling a lot more grateful. Maybe your heart was closed for a little while. You went through some rough times and it's like, you know, it was hard for you to be grateful, but I feel like you're shifting that now, okay? You may be spending more time with loved ones. You know, you may be changing who you consider a loved one. And um, some of you guys are in need of a spiritual bath or you just took a spiritual bath or, you know, maybe you went to the beach or, you know, you went to a river, a lake, somewhere with water. Something about water. It could be a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But anyway, with this womb energy, it's like you're connecting to your womb. Some of you guys could be healing your inner child. Some of you guys are getting more creative, tapping into your divine feminine. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's just like you're open to receive more, okay? And then you're being more grateful, you know? And as you are grateful, you could be seeing 555 for sure in 1010. But as you're grateful, you manifest more things to be grateful for okay but you're definitely this big emphasis on you need to clear your energy or you've been focusing on clearing your energy a lot more because there's just been this heavy energy that you're trying to release and um yeah you're just really focusing on yourself right now i feel like you know you're tapping into magic some of you guys could be doing candle magic or just taking candlelit baths okay or um you know i don't know there's big emphasis on like you know 
you using elements, you using the tools to clear your energy, and you know, you're just taking a break right now because you've been going through a lot of heaviness, a lot of rough energies. So if that resonates, then this is your pile. And let's get into it. <clears throat> pile number two. Based off of their first impressions, I mean first impressions <laughs> of you based off of your looks. We're going to take this two and one more. Okay. Problems resolved. That's interesting. We got animals. Okay, so first impressions. I'm already getting that some of you guys have pets. Some of you guys, you have like pet fur on your um <laughs> your clothes so people assume like oh yeah this person has pets or the way you may react like say someone's walking their dog you might react to their dog like oh my god can i pet can i pet them like you know what i'm saying and people are like oh yeah this person has pets or loves animals we have communication through chakra we have problems resolved and we have ancestors rooted okay big emphasis on you as a very vocal you might be loud you might talk freely you might have um, a unique style of communication slang um, you could have an accent you could speak a foreign language okay but you're very good at communication and I feel like you guys are very intuitive as well you might finish people's sentences a lot and people assume like what this person might be psychic or some shit or what like I don't know this person uh, loves to talk they assume they're like oh this person loves to talk you know you might like I don't know you just I feel like people who watch you from afar they just see your hand it's like you move like your movement like they see your body moving they see you're very vocal like you know you do a lot of hand movements and stuff like that but yeah <laughs> um yeah, you look, based off your first impressions, it's like you look rooted, you look grounded, you look like you have a stable, problemless life. You look like life is easy for you. Based off your first impressions, and you might, like, I feel like you've been through hell and back, but people look at you and they're like, nah, this person didn't go through shit. This person has everything together. This person is chilling. This person's cooling. This person has no problems. This person has everything going for them. That's what people assume. They're like, yo, this person definitely don't have no issues. This person speaks their truth, has people supporting them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They feel like, you know, your ancestors and your lineage built up, you know, a strong foundation for you so you're straight. Based off of just, like, the way you look. You just look like you didn't have problems. You looked like, you know, you never suffered. You know? Interesting. <clears throat> Let's go to the next deck and see. Yeah, storyteller. Y'all, y'all, the way you guys move, like, you might do a lot of hand movements and stuff, or you just, like, jump around when you're telling stories and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Your body be moving, and people assume, like, yo, this person is very, like, animated, very, a very good storyteller. All right, first impressions. Based off of their appearance, please. Heartbreaker. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no freaking way. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Alright, first of all, you look like you have thousands of talents. You look like you know what you're doing. You look like you are effortlessly talented. Some of you guys are giving off writer vibes or poet vibes, artist vibes. You look like an artist. You look like... Yeah, we have engineer. You look like you're a creator. You look like a creative, but you also look like you're very intelligent. Some of you guys might have glasses, and glasses doesn't mean you're intelligent, but... Okay, hello. <laughs> Alright, with the heartbreaker, we literally have <clears throat> thief, because this person has their heart in this, you know? So it's giving, like, I steal your heart, alright, alright, alright? But this person, people feel like, based off of the way you look, that you'll steal their heart. You'll break their heart. Thief in the night. What's that song from? I don't even know. Something about Thief in the Night. <laughs> and then we have Loyalty, Romance, Chivalry, Chivalry, whatever the fuck. And a love of honor, okay? And then we have Romantic Charm and Potential for Power. Roses behind the back. Yeah, people feel like, you know, you can definitely, definitely steal their heart. People feel like you're a romantic. 
people look at you and they're like this person is a hopeless romantic or this person got a lot of people suitor a lot of suitors a lot of people after them a lot of people who probably wrote songs about them or dedicated songs to them you know they're, they're thinking like yo I would dedicate a song to this person I would write or paint a paint I would paint this person I would it's like you're a muse right off the bat people look at you and they're like you're a muse you're a muse mm-hmm yeah you're a muse wow you guys are like effortlessly uniquely beautiful and people you inspire creativity out of others people want to like take pictures of you maybe you're a model you don't even have to be a model but people want to like because i'm seeing like when people you know when people be like hey can i take a picture of you and they take a photo like do a photo shoot with some random person just walking across the street it's like giving that vibes like you're the person that someone would stop and be like hey can i draw you can i paint you can i work with you people want to work with you right off the bat like people look at you and they're like yo this per I want this person to be in my show. I want this person to be on my team. I want this person to, you know, um, wear my jewelry or, like, you know, promote my product, like, my face care product or whatever. Because you guys are really beautiful or handsome. And um, you just, like, it's giving, like, you know, model, promoter. Like, you know, you just, yeah. <laughs> you get it. You get the gist, okay? But um, a lot of people really, um, a lot of people feel like you have a lot of different talents. That you're super creative okay some of you guys might be painters and you might have paint on your hands paint on your clothes you know what i'm saying and some of you guys just carry a notebook because she has a notebook and then she's like writing you know and um people look at you and first of all they think you're knowledgeable okay very brainiac kind of vibes um <laughs> brainiac animaniac so picking the brain i don't know why that's coming yeah animated you're super animated you guys are like the way you move people look at you and they're like yo this person is, should be an actor or an actress or like you're giving like celebrity vibes like you should be a you have a multitude of talents like you should be an actor actress model singer like <laughs> writer you know people look at you and they're like oh this person could do anything this person has like endless freaking gifts and talents but a big emphasis on like you guys might write okay you could be a writer um and uh people think you know you could be a poet okay people look at you and they're like this person's probably like a poet or like you know i don't know there's something about you just being creative but yeah people they look at you first impression is i would love to make a move on this person but i know that they probably got hella people trying to make a move on them and people just feel like you're super talented like look samaritan but these people are like freaking acrobats and stuff like that maybe it's your body too i don't know you look like you could do flips and stuff did i already do this yeah i did <laughs> let's close you out with some tarot ticka, ticka, tarot yeah people think there's a lot of competition for your energy all right pile number two first impressions based off of their appearance i'm hearing that people look at you and they're like yeah they got exes still dreaming about them still hitting them up still in their dms we got the four of pentacles not taking reversals we got the um what the hell is this wheel of fortune <laughs> high priestess you're very mysterious secretive people think you have like a double life when they look at you Three of Pentacles, yeah, I told you. The Fool, the Princess of Pentacles, which is the um, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. What is this High Priestess? We got the Hermit, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're very secretive. People think you have a, like a very private life. Yes, three of pentacles clarified by the eight of pentacles. Like I just said, bro. Hold on, we'll get into it. Y'all already know though. Okay, and the fool. The nine of wands. Bottom of the deck is the five of cups. Interesting how we're clashing there. Very interesting. And the five of swords. Okay. <laughs> so some people feel like you're sad. Some people feel like you've been hurt. Some people feel like, you know, you would hurt them. First impression is you would make them sad because, one, they want to be in a relationship with you. Two, they feel like you would leave. They feel like you have a lot of options, so you would just choose other people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like you're tapped in. 
tapped into all the, the <laughs> all of the you're ascended people feel like you're ascended when they look at you they're like this person is ascended this person is wise this person is spiritual this person is very lucky this person knows how to work with the um the universe okay you just look like you're lucky okay you look like you got it all together people feel like a lot of people and right off the bat they're like this person probably gets hella freaking gifts this per person probably like is spoiled people feel like you're spoiled looking at you okay people feel like you're honest and truthful you maybe have honest eyes i don't know why that's coming or if that's even a thing what the hell does that even mean i don't know but i said it <laughs> anyway yeah but you're very mysterious and people feel like you know your your eyes there's something about your eyes you're tapped in okay when they look at you they feel like um you're staring into their soul but also people feel like you're very very like maybe your body language is like you're standoffish or maybe you just don't want to be bothered or you just look like they look at you and they're like this person is in their own world doing their own thing kind of creating their own vibe doesn't want to be bothered by anybody and it makes people sad okay <laughs> but yeah first impression is that you know you're very talented, you're a hard worker, and people want to work with you. You have multiple talents that people want to work with, okay? People want to invest into you, and, you know, people feel like you're an amazing worker. People would want to hire you. People you people look at you and, like, I want that person. Like, that's the one. That's the person I need on my team. And then we have this fool energy, okay? Some people feel like, you know, you might be ditzy. You might, like, look foolish. When I say foolish, it's not like, you know, just ditzy kind of vibes. Like, you know, you're a free spirit or you're just like free out here, not giving a damn. Irresponsible, I'm getting. People feel like you you look like you would be irresponsible and that does not mean that you are. Okay? Don't don't get it twisted, baby. Don't shoot the messenger. Just people, people, first impression, they're like, oh, this person is probably irresponsible. Come to find out that they're like, oh, shit, this person's actually a hard worker. This person has been through a lot. This person is... Um, always persevering over overcoming everything and people feel like you watch first impression is that like based off of your appearance you know you have like because it's crocodile it's like you watch you people see you peep game and then you like you know you'll make your move or you'll talk to people but people look at you and they're like this person like is observant this person is like um introverted they feel like they, you look introverted but you're very lucky you know very psychic very intuitive very mysterious but very smart maybe you say certain things you know or you have like a shirt that has like you know funny jokes but only certain people would be able to get it you know what i'm saying it's like you have this kind of like maybe a dark humor too people feel like you have a dark humor that's very interesting anything else first impressions you have nice hands you could be a hand model some people want to know what you could do with them hands ah! <laughs> yeah there's big emphasis on like you guys they feel like you have a double life like people feel like you know you you look a certain way but then they're like yo this person might be an undercover freak or something you know what i'm saying a hot break okay all right guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what's going on pal number three Let's clear out pile three two's energy and let's tap into it, okay? Whew. If you're new here, hit the subscribe down below and the bell so you notify every time that I post. And if this resonates, give me a good old thumbs up. We're gonna see your current energy first. If this resonates, you know, this could be for you. If not, you can pick another pile or watch another reading, okay? Whatever you do, do it makes you happy, boo current energy of pile number three bottom of the deck is positive affirmations Ooh, we like that positive self talk talk to me nice sound healing you could be listening to frequencies binaural beats more we have health checkup alone time and sing yeah, I feel like you're speaking way more kind to yourself right now. You know, maybe you were the type of person who is like, you would always look at your flaws in the mirror or you'd point out everything that was wrong with you all the time. And I feel like you're coming out of that, okay? And if you haven't, you're about to. And you may have been, you know, maybe you have a sound bowl or a um, Tibetan sound bowl or you have sound bowls or you listen to frequencies. You've just been fre frequently listening to frequencies more and it's been helping you heal. 
Okay, you've been focusing on your health. Some of you guys just went to get a checkup. Some of you guys are going to get a checkup. But there's a big emphasis on, like, you know, you've been focusing on your health. You've been focusing on healing. And this is not just healing physically. It's also feeling ener feeling energetically healing, okay? Focusing on your heart chakra, your throat chakra, okay? Spending a lot more time alone. Some of you guys have just been, you know, really hermit. Really just trying to connect with yourself again, okay? Healing yourself and embracing yourself and focusing on your work work too i feel like a lot of you guys have been focusing on your work maybe you guys um do spiritual work as well maybe you're an energy healer some some of you guys could be an energy healer or you do meditations or sound healing or stuff like that too that could be your vibe or maybe you might feel called to do that in the future okay and maybe some of you guys have been saying a lot of affirmations and been focusing on manifesting and your manifestings are going to be coming in and some of you guys have been feeling super emotional and um you know you've been spending a lot of time alone because you've been crying things out and just trying to feel it heal it and let it go a lot of shadow work energy inner child healing going on over here so if that resonates yeah burning rule uh, burning bowl ritual you've been releasing a lot maybe you guys do full moon or new moon rituals too that could be a part of your scheme <laughs> your scheme what the hell all right so right off the bat um what are people's first impressions and um this is based off of your appearance okay jeez you guys got a lot um scheming some people think you're a schemer some people think that you're a liar or like you look sneaky not even that you're a liar just like you look sneaky you look like you're up to no good <laughs> that's weird um we got travel we're getting nomad vibes we have moon cycles wasn't i just talking about the moon too look at that shit ah. we have past loved ones we have psychic abilities well psychic ability we got moon star green country new opportunities all right some people feel like you yeah right off the bat people feel like when based off your appearance they look at you and they're like okay this person's looking for an opportunity people assume that you're looking for an opportunity a lot of people assume that you love to be in nature that you love to travel explore you know some people feel like you could be a backpacker some of y'all actually could be backpackers maybe you always have a backpack on you People just feel like you're always ready to go. Like if you need to, you know, it's like survival. Like you're ready, you have everything that you need. You could have a big purse or like a backpack or something like that. So people feel like you always got what you, you need. And then that's why another thing is people feel like you could be scheming or sneaky because you know, say you go into a store with a big backpack and stuff like that. Maybe like the people who work there are assuming like, oh, this person is gonna steal because they got this big ass backpack and shit. Like, nah, you gotta chill out, bro. If you do, it is what it is, but, you know, some people feel like, you know, you're you're trying to get a lick and shit like that. You're trying to, like, you know, rob people and shit. Like, what the hell kind of fucking shit is that? Just because you got a backpack on? I don't know. Just people feel like, you know, there's something, something sneaky about you. You just look kind of sneaky. Just take it as it resonates with pick another pile. My bad. <laughs> but this is only, you know, you'll know. You'll know what I mean. It's like people assume. Maybe you get people following you in the stores and stuff like that when you're just going shopping because you have a backpack and stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's like some type of profiling, even racial profiling or something in this group that people just assume like, you know, and you could be in places like where people like assume like oh this person shouldn't be around here like say you go into an expensive ass store because you want to buy something but people just assume that you know you just came in here to steal you know it's like giving that kind of vibe i don't know what that is but i want to get out of that energy anyway but yeah people feel like um you look intuitive you look very unique because this is giving peacock right people feel like you know you're very different people feel like you have a um, a cultured life or you have a big family people feel like you're right off the bat connected to your family very close to your family people feel like you look like you would be emotional some people look at you and they think that you know you're very unique a lot of you guys have tattoos or you have a lot of tattoos could have a lot of piercings too getting a lot of body art Yeah, very interesting. I don't know. We're going to move on from that because that was weird. Very specific. What the hell? I think a lot of these are very specific, though. Moving on. <laughs> 
Let's see. People's first impressions based off of your appearance. Okay, Jesus. Companion. People assume right off the bat that you're taken. Yeah, we have knight and then vampire. People assume that you're taken right off the bat based off your looks. People assume that people get really addicted to your energy. People like, you know, they become codependent on you, you know, or they assume like, oh, I would be addicted like to this person. I would always want to hang out with them. I would always, I would, be, we would become best friends. Okay. Cause look at, she's just like clinging on and we literally, yeah, that's very interesting. People feel like you would be loyal though. You would ride for them. You would be a very, like a defender. Like you would, you would go to bat for them. Maybe you guys look like a fighter too. Some people look at you based off your appearance, like you could fight. They think that you could fight or you would fight. Not one to be messed with, okay? <laughs> wow, who are you? Jesus Christ, y'all fuck around and find out, huh? <laughs> yeah, but some people feel like, you know, you, you also have a lot of suitors or people who want to um, become your companion or they're just like, nah, there's no way this person is single. This person definitely got somebody. Some people feel like you had um, an, an addiction or you played around with drugs and alcohol and stuff like that or maybe you were a party girl party boy they feel like you know you look like the type that you would have partied back in the day or maybe you party now it doesn't matter people feel like you know you either smoke you drink or something people look at you and they're like yeah this person definitely does something you know people also assume based off your looks and first impression they're like this person got a lot of haters you're very unique, very different, and I feel like, you know, you don't give a shit. So people assume, like, when they first meet you, they're like, oh, this person probably got hella haters. <laughs> hella haters, bro. What the heck? That's very interesting. Let's tap in. Deeper, shall we? Eight of Swords, interesting. People's first impressions based off of... Pile three's looks. Pile three, what is going on with you? This is very <laughs> a lot. Okay, let's start off with what we got. We got prospects, page of pentacles, ace of swords. Okay. <laughs> the knight of swords. Drama. People look at you and they think you you would bring drama to their life. In some way, shape, or form. Not even that you will, though, but I'm just saying. They look at you and they're like, yeah, this person would bring drama into my life. We got the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Four of Cups, Distraction. Wow. <laughs> we got the Death, Release. I wonder what you guys look like. Like, what the hell? <laughs> we got the Ten of Cups. And the High Priestess. One more. That's two more, just one more. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Mm hmm. Interesting. And then we have the Strength card, Bravery. Yeah, you brave. <laughs> Look. <laughs> buck Wild. Why am I getting Buck Wild? We got security. You, some of y'all might work security. Are you guys big? You might be big. Like, you just look like, you know, buff or big or something like that. Not all of you, but you just look like you can handle the fight. Some of y'all look like you've been in a fight. Some of y'all have scars and stuff. Maybe you've been, like, you know, like, hurt, like, physically, like, stabbed and shit like that. And you might have scars. So people look at you like, damn, bro, this person don't play around. They survive. I'm a survivor. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> People feel like you would be a distraction to them, okay? You would distract them because they would want to give all their energy and time to you, okay? People feel like you're very understanding, though, because you look like you've been through a lot and you look like, you know, you've overcome a lot. And people feel like you would understand what they've been through. You look like you've released a lot, okay? People can tell by looking at you like that you were a fighter. Maybe you came from the hood, you know, maybe your hood. I don't know. Okay, maybe you've been through a lot of shit. Maybe you, you know, 
done a lot of bad things and now you came out of that shit maybe you went through a lot of drama through family and friends and now you're living more comfortable and people look at you like i can tell this person has a past i can tell that this person went through a lot of shit i can tell that this person maybe was a party animal okay but i can also tell that this person is living more comfortable now this person has money now i can trust this person now they're giving this energy like my intuition is telling me i can trust this person but i can also tell that this person has a dark ass past has a traumatic ass past but a lot of people um first impression is that like they would like you're probably good in bed too you look like if you you my male they they assume, <laughs> look at me getting all nervous they 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 you could be seeing 1222 or 222 um they feel like you're strong you could pick them up okay and uh that you probably packing or you, if you're a girl, you you real good, and they want to pick you up, and you know they just feel like yeah, it'll be real good. That's all I'm saying. It's like you look like you know, you look like you're a freak. Let's just say. Okay, maybe you got them f u eyes, f me eyes, you know. Yeah. Big dipper, big stepper. A lot of people feel like you know you have good style too, though. Unique style, but good style. And you're very mysterious with the Scorpio energy over here. It's like people like assume like right off the bat, first impressions are like this person is mysterious. This person don't want me to know whatever they've been through. I can tell this person ain't about drama. They they they're over that stuff, but they definitely you know maybe it's the way you talk. I don't know. People could just tell like you don't play. Okay, you went through hella shit. Holy crap! <laughs> Pop three, that was freaking intense, bro. What the hell? All right. <laughs> I love y'all. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Or pick another pile if you feel like that was it for you. Bye. What's going on? Pile number four. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. All right. Pile three was very intense. <laughs> People are very judgmental about pile four. I mean, pile three. Oh, maybe they're judgmental about you, too. We're going to find out. So... If you're new here, hit the subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time that I post. If this resonates, give me a good old thumbs up and comment down below. Let me the tea, okay? Because I'm here for it. This has been a very interesting reading. You can always pick more than one pile, as always. And um, if you want to book a personal reading, my reading, uh, my information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get your current energy pile four. Pile fours. Hmm. Puff Force Current Energy. Puff Force Current Energy. Okay. Connect with the earth. You might be grounding more. Maybe you're spending more time alone in nature. Trying to ground yourself. Stabil focusing on stability. Stabilize yourself. Okay, we got Meditate, Energy Work. You definitely couldn't be seen. 222-888-555. All right, and four, four, four. Maybe even ten, ten. Okay, <clears throat> you've been focusing on your peace. Maybe you've been meditating a lot more because both of these people are in. And walking meditations are a thing. Working out is a meditation. Even like being anytime you're being present, you could be meditating as well. Okay, um, maybe you have been going to the beach more, going into nature more. Maybe some of y'all, you know want to go on vacation there's something about going on a vacation maybe some of you guys have been cooking more or you're being called to like watch what you eat right now because you're getting a lot of energetic upgrades or maybe you're very picky right now about what you will eat you know you're trying to get more vegetables and fruit and you're focusing on trying to drink as much water as you can okay and um with us if you're in america you know add a, a pinch of salt and baking soda so a good amount of water so that you can get your minerals because they take our minerals out of our water so for whoever feels like they keep drinking so much and they have to keep peeing and they're not absorbing it and they still feel hydrated even though they're drinking massive amounts of water that's for you baby but if that resonates i don't know maybe you need to get some reiki done or maybe you just got reiki done or maybe you've just been focusing on balancing yourself focusing on your health focusing on your life trying to improve you know your mental physical emotional and your um spiritual but also your abundance too you know you've just been trying to remain positive throughout these waves of life but let's get it and see what are people's first impressions 
a few base of, of the of the don'ts, okay? Pile number four. <laughs> Not the ocean coming through. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got courage. Ooh, you look courageous. Courage the cowardly dog. Ah! <laughs> Maybe you like courage the cowardly dog. That's so random. Naughty. <laughs> Somebody's naughty. You look naughty. All right. Interesting. So we got good luck. We got detoxifying. Yeah, some of y'all, okay, people assume, based off of your first impression, it's like you're you're healthy, you could be a health nut. I don't know why we're calling it a health nut. You just could be really into um, your health. You look like, you know, you take care of yourself, you drink a lot of water, you know. You look like you would be honest, brutally honest. You look like the type of person who would tell it like it is. <laughs> Let's just say that. You look like the person who is very loving, kind, caring, and compassionate, but also it's like you look like... <sighs> you look like somebody who just always has the upper hand. Somebody who's always lucky. Things always work out for you. You know? You're very round... rounded. <clears throat> Some of y'all are round? You have a nice round, uh... Cheek, cheek. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, some people feel like, you know, you you have no time for toxicity, too. I'm getting, like, you guys make faces sometimes. It's not funny. It's not that you're judgmental, but, like, your face, like, you know, it's just, like, when you see weird shit or, like, you know, you just... And some of y'all could be judgmental, but it, it is what it is. You could have Virgo placements, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, Virgos! You know, you just could be analytical, okay? You just look at people a lot, and you just judge, and you make faces. Um, I'm getting the first impression is people who, watch, people who watch you or see you for the first time, they see the faces that you make. You make funny faces, and you make faces, like, judging people. Like, you know, like, you look at people like, what the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But yeah, people um, feel like you got a, a, a big backbone, okay? Like, you can handle anything. You can handle pressure. Like, you look like, you know, you bring the pressure. You are the pressure. You look like you're very lucky. Like I said, you look like... You could be seeing 777 a lot, too. And 444 four, four, and 333. Three, three. But you look like you have a heart of gold, even though, you know, sometimes you might be giving people dirty looks, like, here and there. But it is what it is. <laughs> Ah, people feel like you could roast them. You would tear them apart. First impression is like, this person is like a shit talker. This person will talk shit to my face and be like, what with your goofy ass? Like, that kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not all of you, obviously. Just take it as it resonates. Five, five, five. That's funny. Okay. What else? What else can we get? First impressions based off of how fours appearance all right what do we got yeah i'm here and tell it like it is tell it like it is that's way too much we're not taking all that mm. storyteller i'm telling you like jokester kind of vibe like you got jokes for days if you don't roast people you tell jokes like you could be a stand-up comedian you probably got told that shit we got destroyer on the bottom of the deck we got shapeshifter we got hedonist and we got pioneer all right you guys are the leaders you guys are the type of people who like you're the one who's walking in the crowd and like say you're with your friends and stuff like that you're the person who's walking the fastest you're the person who's leading you're the ringleader people look to you and people first impressions they're like yeah this person is the one who's running the show this person is the one who probably made the plans who has the tickets you're the person who's holding everyone's passports like you know what i'm saying it's that kind of vibe like you're the mom or dad of the the group I guess you could say like if people are out drinking and stuff like that you're like hey, do you need water where's this person are they good like you're like you give off that kind of vibe people assume like this is the person who's like irresponsible and yet you're still childlike too but yeah people feel like you know first impression like this person is an amazing storyteller I could listen to this person all day they look at you and they're like wow this person has a story like has a st and then all of a sudden you start talking and stuff and they're like oh my god what the hell you know and people see that you came from like a lot like you know a different lifestyle and people are like wow 
this person created a whole new life for themselves okay but yeah you definitely look good abundant delicious you smell delicious or right off the bat people look at you and they're like this person definitely takes care of themselves this person probably has super soft skin and um some of y'all people like look at you and this person they're like this person it don't matter what size you are but they're like this person eats good okay and I don't like I mean you eat good <laughs> either way like it, it doesn't mean just healthy like you would eat I could eat you know what I'm saying like you down to get down like let's go try new food spots and stuff like that like you know what else some people assume like first impression that this that this person you fall for they assume that you get um facials you get your hair done often you're a thinker you think big you're into astrology you you like to um you love summer people assume that you love summer I don't know why that is a thing maybe you look miserable in the winter and then in the summer they see you and they're like this person looks so happy right now or the spring whatever I don't know that's random as hell hmm people look at you and they feel like you could destroy their life but they also feel like you would prepare them for a new life like you would make them have to change there's something about you that is like a tower moment you're a walking tower moment and I'm hearing walking trophy again you're a walking trophy hmm <laughs> interesting people feel like you can blend and, and mesh with every kind of crowd too first impression is they don't really you don't look like you're specifically specifically meant to be in a certain crowd okay like picture high school and stuff like that you don't look like you're part of the jocks or the goths or like you don't have a specific you look like a blend of all so you can just met like mesh with any group like you know what i'm saying go with the athletes and then that the people who are in theater and stuff like that you can jump from group to group you know people feel like you're that type of person you look like a creative too but you look very beautiful or handsome and people are like this person is definitely you know blessed with the looks let's get into the tarot How four? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Pile four. First impressions based off of pile four's appearance. First impressions based off of pile four's appearance. <laughs> Not the Ace of Cups. Not the Ace of Cups. All right, let's see what we got. Obviously, we have the Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands. I told you. Bro, the world. Six of Swords. Yeah, you guys look good. People want to eat you up. Oh, my battery's dying. Please hold. Okay, we're back. So, Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. It's in reverse, but I'm not really taking reverses. But I'm acknowledging that it's in reverse. A lot of people are sad because they feel like everything that they would give you, they wouldn't get back, okay? Like, I feel like you would just turn your back on them. Especially with this Ace of Pentacles and this Four of Cups. Like, <laughs> high standards, okay? People look at you and they're like, this person got high standards. They're very similar to another pile. Um, you have high standards and you will not accept anything that is less than a magnificent okay <laughs> you can get it yourself too let's be real you get you got everything yourself you've built up a life for yourself you could be very abundant very prosperous you could have your own business and people are like what can i give this person i can't give anybody this, this person ain't gonna accept this stuff okay like you know all right people feel like you're very loving caring compassionate and people feel like you love yourself okay some people look at you and they're probably like this person's probably conceited okay we got the queen of wands and the nine of pentacles you look good you look good you dress good you smell good your hair is amazing or you get haircuts on the regular it's like you take very good care of yourself you have unique very unique um clothing okay you could be i'm getting comic-con too People look at you and they're probably like this person maybe into comic con and stuff like that um maybe you watch anime i don't know why i'm getting that but that's that's what i'm getting okay especially with this deck too it the artist the artistry is like you know anime kind of vibes makes me think like anime 
maybe you like certain animes and stuff like that. Moving on. <laughs> people feel like a lot of people know you. People feel like you're probably an influencer. You probably look like you have a high social media account. Like, you know, you can make money off of social media. Or people look at you and they're like, this person has their own business. Some of you guys have a nice car and stuff like that. Or people assume, like, based off your looks, like, this person has a nice car, has a nice house, apartment. This person probably travels a lot. You look well-traveled. You look like... You know, you explore, travel the world, all that good stuff. People feel like you get everything that you want. Looking at you, they're like, this person has everything that they want. This person always gets anything and everything that they want. I hear fast car. Some people look at you and they assume that you might drive a fast car. Or you could be into people with fast cars or you just like nice cars. There's big emphasis on like, maybe you're a car person. You like cars a lot. You might know a lot about cars. They look at you. Maybe you, you know, there's something about like maybe cars. Or you like motorcycles too. You have a motorcycle as well. Maybe some of you all carry like a motorcycle helmet and people look at you and like, oh, this person got a motorcycle or something like that. Random. I hear a plane. Yeah, you definitely travel. People look at you and like, this person is not from around here. Like, this person came to Miami for vacation. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, interesting. And we have judgment. I can't knock it. Like, that's not really what it means. But also, I'm just getting like, y'all look like you're judgmental. Like, look at this this person's face <laughs> this is you looking at people like what in the actual f are you doing especially like people who like try to offer you something that is like you probably look at them like you're wild you probably give people crazy looks like crazy looks like you're crazy to even try to talk to me right now how dare you <laughs> the audacity wow it's giving like celebrity vibes like you know a celebrity and you know there are nice celebrities and stuff like that but people feel like maybe like looking at you they'll be like yo this person probably like acts like j-lo or something or, you know that i not that j-lo's a bad person but you know i'm just hearing that the way she like be acting towards certain people or like fans and stuff and i get it because a lot of people be trying to invade their space so maybe that happens to you a lot like people just like immediately are always in your energy and stuff like that and sometimes you just want to be alone so you're like yo can y'all chill out can you leave me alone you know what i'm saying but moving on you know yeah but people feel like you're judgmental <laughs> oh that's so funny but yeah people feel like you get handed opportunities left and right too or you have multiple sources of income or just money comes to you easily or people want to give you money some people even think that you might have a sugar daddy or sugar mama all right guys i love you and i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what's up pile number five last but never least it's your girl Drea. This is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you can notify every time that I post. If it resonates, give me a good old thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know the tea. These have been very interesting readings, so I'm intrigued to see what's going to come up with the last pile. Okay? We're going to use your current energy and then we'll tap into. Whoa, 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 whoa. People's first impressions. Life has been chaotic, huh? A little chaotic, a little uh, traumatizing. Okay? <laughs> um yeah based off your first uh, your appearance first impressions based off your appearance all right current energy for pile five pile number five pile number five pile number five pile number five whoa all right i'm gonna take these all right <clears throat> we got dance some of y'all may be wanting to go dancing. Oh, we have sing. Maybe you want to go singing or dancing. Maybe a uh, karaoke. You know? Maybe you've just been singing and dancing more. We have be still. I'm hearing some of you guys have been struggling to be still, but it's going to get a lot easier. We have movement. And then connect with crystals. Okay, some of you guys, you have been inside hermit mode kind of hiding yourself and you know this is your it's your time to put yourself out there again okay 
You've been going through a lot. You deserve to have a fun night out, okay? I'm not saying go out and get shit face drunk, but I'm saying, like, go do something fun. Do something that, you know, gets you moving. Whether it's, like, you know, you, you start doing, like, classes, kickboxing, yoga, Zumba. You have a lot of different, actually, workout classes and stuff like that, which you can do from home, too, if you want to. But, like, you know, there's a big emphasis on get out there. Put yourself out there. Dance with life again, okay? Some of you guys may have, got, may have gotten a new tattoo or piercing, okay? Could be wearing dresses more some of you guys have been laying under the stars or looking at the stars a lot more and I feel like you've been looking for miracles and your miracles are coming I want you to understand that your guides are with you and you know there's big emphasis on like some manifestations because I'm here in 369 369 method some um you've been doing a lot of manifestation work and your manifestations are coming in the movement there's a lot of movement going on which is probably why it's been kind of chaotic because a lot of things had to get taken out of your life before it could come in and that's coming in and also work with keep working with crystals keep cleansing your crystals make sure you're keeping up with cleansing your crystals there's so many different ways but if you're not cleansing them you know it's like they they have less power so just keep up with cleansing your crystals and intentionally using your crystals, okay? I like to, like, when I, before I put crystals around me or in my pocket or on my person, I like to set the intention either in my head or out loud of, like, okay, so this is going to be for protection, this is going to help manifest abundance, etc., etc., etc. All that good stuff. But, yeah, um, I don't know why we just went on a tangent, but we did, okay? But, yeah. Maybe you've been trying to be still more or you're trying to move more or you're being called to. If you've been still for a lot, it's time for you to get moving, okay? And if you have been... Whoa. <laughs> Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, I found a tarot card. Let's see what it is. The world. Wow, success. This is from a complete different deck. And I just lost the other card. You know what? I'll find that after because we're not doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay drink tea drink some tea too okay that's so random but anyway moving on you guys look successful otherworldly I'm hearing otherworldly okay why am I grabbing this tarot deck let's get into it look at me all over the place scattered let me take a breath pal fives what's going on you guys are uh, freaking out maybe you're nervous you don't think your manifestation is coming in they want you to know calm down you have to feel calm you have to trust and have faith that it's coming okay i don't know that's random moving on people's first impressions of pile five based off their appearance Ooh, professional <laughs> interesting some of you guys are business owners. You guys look like millionaire, billionaire status. Wow, you guys dress really well. Like, you look like, and it's not like you're, you're you know, you can tell when somebody, like, has money. But anyone can look like they have money, but you give off, like, you got money, bro. Sis, you got money, okay? <laughs> All right, we got um, honesty, mental strength, compassion, business, and meditation. You guys look like, right off the bat, you're very peaceful, you're very calm. You just look like you don't have a lot to stress about, even though you're really stressing right now. <laughs> Some of you guys might look like you are stressed a lot. So I guess that's another collective. But um, a lot of you guys look like you're not stressed. Or if you're stressed, it's about business, okay? You only stress about business. You focus about business. You're about your business. You're about your money. Okay, everything that you do is for your business or for money or, you know. It's not to say that you're, you're not, you're selfish. Because you're very selfless with this, like, compassion. People feel like you're very generous, too. You look like you would be generous. You look like you would give gifts. And people feel like, you know, you're very intelligent. You're very smart clear-minded and honest people feel like you're protective of your loved ones as well and i feel like you know you you just look like you would give like the shirt off your back to somebody that's what people feel like they feel like this person would give me anything i would want especially in a relationship they feel like oh, i would love to be in a relationship with this person i feel like you know some people feel like they could take advantage of you but you look like you're the type of person who would spoil somebody, who would give your world to them. Mm. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, you look like you're honest. <laughs> There's something about your eyebrows. Maybe you furrow your eyebrows a lot. I don't know. That's random. 
you just look all right it's not that you look confused it just looks like you're always thinking always analyzing there's always something on your mind you're always in your head that's what you look like first impression is like this person isn't even listening to me they're in their head thinking about their business thinking about this thinking about that <laughs> you'd be thinking and then you're probably the type of person they'd be like duh, 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 wah, 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 and then they're like hey did you hear anything i said and you're like huh they're like wow <laughs> First impressions based off of how five's appearance. All right, how many do we even got over there? Ooh, like a lover. All right, mentor. Yeah, you guys look like you're like up there. You look like you have status. That's what it is. Status. You guys look like status. Artist. When I'm with this artist, it, it could even be like some of you guys are musicians. I, it's like, you know, something detective. <laughs> Interesting. Contradictory energy coming through. Okay, so right off the bat, people feel like, you know, you're not emotional. You could have a serious ass face sometimes, but people feel like, you know, <clears throat> you have a lot of integrity, honesty again. And you have authority. You look like an authority figure. You look like you're the boss. It don't even matter, like, if you work there or not. Or if, like, you know, you who, <laughs> you don't even have to... Who? What the hell? You don't even have to be the person um, who's the boss. But people, like, assume just by the way you look, you have this kind of, like, I am a leader, I run shit kind of energy. And that's what it looks like. And the way you hold yourself, the way you're pop... You're, you have, like, good posture. You hold yourself high head back like you know you walk with you know authority you look wise you look like you're the main character okay people look at you first impression is like this person's the main character this person's life is a movie this person does what they want gets what they want and lives how they want you're very passionate you look like you're very passionate and you look like you would be an amazing gift giver people look like people assume that you get gifts but you like give amazing gifts like you would be a person that would you know take someone under their wing and really help them to grow and learn your enemy you look like you would be a good teacher <clears throat> excuse me my throat chakra like <coughs> first impression is like watch what you say to this person too because i feel like you can tear somebody's bum straight up like you can rip somebody apart people look at you and first impression is like you look like a good lover you look like a good hugger people want to just hug you love you it's like either people want to buy you gifts or like you look like you would buy like amazing gifts whatever spectrum you're on you could be on both you know what i'm saying um people look <laughs> you look very observant okay maybe you look people up and down and like you stare at people before you even speak you could be introverted too um i don't know what other pal was introverted but there was one that was like kind of introverted and they like you i'm getting your you guys are the starers okay and it's like you're sneaky about it but people peep it they're like you know you're trying to like look like you're not looking but you're definitely looking and people know that you're peeping game you're very observant and other people might see you observing you know situations and other people and stuff like that like you may be quiet and you only speak when spoken to and stuff like that but you still have this boss like king queen energy for real like people put you up on a pedestal bully yeah okay some people are very intimidated by you and they think that you could bully the hell out of them or you would be mean or be a bully yeah look at this Midas some people think you might look frugal you know even though you got money Interesting. I don't know why they're assuming that. <clears throat> but let's get some closing messages. For my pound number five. What do what are people's first impressions based off of pal five's appearance? Very interesting. I'm not taking all of those. No reversals. Okay. Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups. 
Eight of Pentacles, not surprised. Queen of Pentacles, not surprised again. We got the Five of Swords. Seven of Wands, yep. <laughs> Two of Swords, the Sun. You look like people assume that you love what you do and you do what you love. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we have three. The Star. The Queen of Wands. Complete. And the boss ass. Told you, Emperor. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. People look at you and they assume that you're super busy, that you have like a daily routine, that you wake up at the ass crack of dawn, you go for a jog, you meditate. Like people look <laughs> like <clears throat> You know, like you have a billionaire, millionaire kind of routine, like, you know, you do this and then, you know, you take a break and then you go and work on your craft for five hours and you have fun doing it. You make money while you're doing it. A lot of people feel like you can make money off of social media, too, or maybe you actually do make uh, money off of social media. Some people feel like you can make money off your looks, too, because of the way you look. Like, they feel like you should be a model and stuff like that. But you give off business vibes. Some of y'all could be life path eights. But people feel like, yo, this person definitely has some type of creative venture or some type of side project or some type of business. Especially if you work a 9 to 5, people feel like you're making money on the side from something that you love to do. Or maybe they follow you on your social media. I'm here on Instagram. Maybe you make money off Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, something like that. What else? Um, with this Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands, people feel like you could be defensive. People look at you and they would assume, like, this person could rip me apart with their words, okay? Like, maybe you talk really fast when you do talk, or you have talk with, like, some bass, or, like, you say words that, like, you know, either could be mean, or it's like, I don't know, it's like, the way you talk is kind of like, blunt that's what it is you're blunt you're ruthless with your words and people assume like yo this person is not one to be played with this person is a boss okay this person they, they assume you have some type of like income like your own job your own business or something like that okay um people feel like you know it's like you you fluctuate they feel like you could be happy and emotionally fulfilled, but also they feel like, you know, you look like the type of person that maybe you put more of your energy into work instead of, like, relationships and stuff like that. They assume, like, they look at this, they're like, look at this person, this, prob this person probably is single, or this person, you know, probably never sees their spouse or their, their boyfriend or girlfriend or doesn't spend time with their friends or family. This person probably works, works, works. It's getting workaholic. <clears throat> Excuse my stomach going off. Yeah, people look at you and they feel like you're a wish fulfillment. People look at you and think that you're hubby or wifey material. People think that I could build a family with this person. I am stuck because I feel like I would love to be in a relationship with this person, but I'm not sure how it would feel or how it would be because I don't know. This person's kind of blunt and I feel like they might be mean with their words. <laughs> I don't know if they would bully me or be mean to me or judge me interesting but you're also kind and compassionate so i don't know it's just you're honest and some people can't handle the truth so it is what it is but you know that's not you know you'll find somebody who can and will appreciate your honesty if you don't if you haven't already All right, a lot of people feel like you're whole and complete on your own and you don't need anybody <coughs> okay and with the queen of wands and the star you look really good and the queen of pentacles it's like you're very abundant people look at you and they're like this person looks really good they look really happy maybe you're always smiling too even though you're not saying a lot but you you're always smiling you know you're always smiling <clears throat> but like when you start talking your face gets serious and your brows might furrow or like there's something about like you know when you're not smiling you're not listening it's like you're just thinking in your head so your face like makes these expressions like wonderment or your this big emphasis on your brows furrowing and stuff like that yeah you guys are the longest pile let's see what else anything else i think we're gonna call it here oh based off of your appearance people assume that you um <laughs> some of y'all either could be selfish but other people assume that you know you have like vampires in your life or people who try to drain you of your money your resources your energy or like people who are jealous of you too 
people want what you have. People look at you and they put you on a pedestal and they're like, yo, I bet people could kill for looks like this or kill for talent like that or build uh, a body like that or like, you know, a business like that and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right, that's what we're going to call it, pile number five. Very, very interesting. That's very intense. Y'all definitely have a business or something like that, for sure. People want to collaborate with you. They look at you and they're like, yeah, I could definitely lay out with this person on my podcast or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Random ass energy. All right, I love you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.